All right, kind of decided to make this video at the last moment. This is a 2004 Volvo 4.3 GXIE. Uh, having an engine surge issue, RPM is going up and down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plugs and wires. Um, I don't think these plugs have ever been pulled on this boat based on this. Um, that's how they look coming off. It's 2021, so you know, it's, these are 25, 26 years old. I labeled them as I brought them out um, so that I can just look at them later, maybe examine them, have somebody smarter than me look at them. Here's what I ordered off the uh, Volvo site. It's an AC Delco plug, 12568387. I'll, I'll put a link down in the description where I got all this stuff. Uh, these came pre-gapped. The gap is uh, 0.060, uh, and I, I got a little gapper to a point, point zero six zero seems to be right. Um, this is a pain in the butt, y'all. I'm not gonna put it any other way. You got three plugs on that side. You got three plugs over here. I use the uh, smaller of the spark plug removal tools. So I guess it's technically a, uh, a five eighths. Um, for most of them, I used a long extension three eighths with my ratchet was able to break three loose on the driver's side on the passenger side you can use the long extension for the back two this front one you need the shorty um, getting those loose isn't too bad of a deal getting the the old wires out i labeled them all d123 and then p123 got those out and then there's a, a clip that if i can find it i'll show you guys that is just a royal pain in the ass uh, to get these out. And it's a it's a three-prong clip. Here it is right here. It's this bad boy. This is holding them in. So all you do, this part right here slides into the engine mount and sits on the engine mount. So what I would say is pull this whole thing off, and then you unclasp it right here. It, it just clasps down like that. Uh, there is one on this side mounted on the engine, one on this side mounted on the engine, and also on your driver's side, there's a little separator, a little old-fashioned separator as well. So pull your plugs, pull your wires. Then what you got to do is you got to pull this module, module out to get to your distributor cap. And there's two bolts. There's one bolt. There's one on the other side. Uh, I think they are 10 millimeter. Pull those out. I unplugged these wires. I took the cotter pin out of the throttle so that I can take this and gently lay this bad boy over here so I can then get to that distributor cap. All right, now I've already pulled it off. Here's what she looks like. And um, she's got special, it's a special bit to get these things off. And I'm gonna see if I can get it for you. It's a star bit. I don't know which one it is. I don't know the number. Um, I think it's a 20, 25, but you need this star bit to get it off. Uh, the new distributor cap came with new screws, so that's good. So my plan now, uh, get the new distributor cap put in, run the new wires that I'm going to run, and I need to get some dialectic grease and some anti-seize for the plugs, and we'll be back. One thing I forgot to mention, on the new distributor cap, the new wires, the wire, this wire was marked KW30. This is the new wire. And on the other end, it's marked KW45. I don't know what the hell that means. The old one is marked KW24. And over here, KW89. So I, I don't know what that means. I'll figure it out later. Uh, so here's the inside of the cap. Here's the old one. As you can see, there is some wear. I'm hoping this solves my problems. All right, uh, got the job done, but I wanted to just help everybody out there because I've seen a lot of comments uh, on other sites about people pulling wires and not knowing where they go on top of the distributor cap. So I try to make, this is a super fancy drawing. This is something you normally find at MIT and Harvard. So as you can see, we got the bow, the stern, which is the back of the boat where the prop is. So this is if you're uh, sitting in the middle of the boat, looking at the engine, looking towards the back of the boat. 
Uh, and I just kind of labeled them driver one, two, and three, and passenger one, two, and three. And that's on the on the boat. The steering wheel's over here. Uh, and as you can see, they're pretty simple on this driver's side. You know, the first one goes first, second, third, so forth. On, on the passenger side is where you get a little bit of a hiccup. This first plug goes to the middle. Second plug actually goes to the first on the dizzy cap. Third plug goes to the back. And then this is from your distributor cap to your, uh, hell, I don't know what it's called on the engine. Ignition coil, maybe, I don't know. That's the one by itself. So I uh, hope this helps y'all.